put in to try and describe it, it's very difficult. Banks, building societies, airports, leisure centres. Fitting out shops, you know, using different materials, wood, metal, plastic, you know, working here on the bench and going out on site and fitting it up. It used to be shop fitting was whatever somebody did on the high street, but nowadays it um, encompasses all other aspects of commercial, office fit out, and anything where there's a bit of specialised work. Windows doors, building fronts, a lot, a lot more than people think. Getting a, a unit, an uh, empty unit, and making it into a restaurant or a bar or a shop. Shop fitting is a variety of trades put together under one umbrella. survive with good students and good apprentices. It's important to the shop fitting industry that we get good quality um, students, trainees into the industry and I think we want to get over the attractive nature of our business and the interest that it ca can, can give to people. Enthusiastic. Um, someone who's keen and, and willing to learn. Someone that's very hands-on, uh, very practical-minded. Someone who's hard-working. They need to be motivated and know what they want to do. Lots of different people. Anyone willing to try. One of the good things about shop fitting is it's very bespoke, so you're not going to be doing the same job every day, day in, day out. Good money. Um, it's enjoyable. A lot of people work here and it's good fun. It opened a, a lot of opportunities for me, you know. I've been away travelling uh, with the job. I've been to Moscow working, which was quite an experience, really good. Been to Latvia, America, Holland and Belgium, all in the shop fitting industry. Um, you know, I've been to places like Dubai, and Qatar, and Moscow, um, and then that makes it, you know, they're, they're the good things. And it gives you a lot back. It makes you feel quite proud, actually, when you, when you look at it and think, well, I made that and you tell your friends and your family, oh, look, that's what I did. You can take pride in what you've produced. You feel something for it. The end product, everything you make at the end is satisfying. And, but when you see all the work going in and finish, you, you think, oh, you know, I made that and I, well, I helped make that. And it's, you know, it's quite satisfying. It's, it's such a great feeling. Like the Doncaster race course, I've, been, I've worked on that and actually seen it now that it's there and finished. It made me feel really proud. You've not been putting screws in a, a door of a car and doing that seven days a week. Decided I didn't want to go to uni, get loads of debt, so I thought I'll go into an apprenticeship. Something that I enjoyed, um, doing stuff with my hands. I was good at it, so um, yeah, I went for that and here I am, six years later, still doing it. <laughs> being able to go and sometimes see what you've produced or being part of producing and think, I was part of that, and take a little bit of pride that you've produced something. They get a sense of satisfaction. It's a varied challenge all the time. Uh, every day is different. Long hours, hard work, away from home at times, but there, there is the rewards that go linked with those. It's hard work. You can work for some testing clients. I don't know, I can't think of too many bad points to be honest. With training, it's like in work, you've got people telling you what to do, helping you, like showing you what to do, and like you pick it up quite quick, and then with college, that's very handy, because you've got like, you've got your other people working with you, so you can like work out problems, you've got your tutors helping, and you're getting your qualifications and everything for it, so it's quite good. It's quite good because uh, before, I, when I left school, I didn't know nothing about this uh, industry, but now I can fit internal doors, uh, laminate floor, do quite a lot of jobs. Like when I started, I didn't really know that much, like just really basic stuff. But through college and people talking and helping, like showing me what to do, and that I've picked up quite a lot. The best thing about the training in the shop fitting is when you are an apprentice, uh, not only are you going to college. You're learning at college, but you're getting the hands-on learning at work as well. Well, training is everything. I mean, without training, you won't learn the skills. Well, in shop fitting, there is a range of skills you can learn. 
Uh, the beauty of it is because they send you to college, you earn money while you're doing it, and the skills are absolutely brilliant. You can use them anywhere. Basically, it's the future of shot fitting and wood machining, the CNC work. Um, basically, taking away all the, you know, the spindle work that you do by hand, and basically programming the computers, and it basically does the work for you. So it's the future, basically. CNC machining is important because it enables us to produce components of the same again and again and again, very quickly and very easily, as opposed to spending days and being very labour intensive. Um, we've came down this week to um, do advanced uh, wood machining, CNC work, uh, basically computer programming works, all the different machines as you see here today. This will never replace traditional skills. Traditional skills will always be there and they will always be needed because a CNC can't do everything but it does the majority. Um, I've always been interested in woodwork um, since I was younger um, at school always, and um, I could never see myself sitting at a, an, in an office at a computer all day long. At, can have a kind of sense of pride in, in what I do really. CNC is the future and it is the way the industry is going. It will not change so if you want to be going forward with the industry then that is the way to go. If they're looking for um, a job in the construction industry but something that's a bit different um, you might take them to you know new new places that they never thought they might go to um, then do it it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, career and it's a good challenge it's just a very good job if you wanted to progress as long as you're willing to put the effort in and not just sit on the sidelines and let somebody else do it for you take a look at some local companies create a, an interest in the business so that when you apply for a position in the company you can actually say, I'm interested in shop fitting. I know what shop fitting is to a certain degree. Show that you've done your homework and you're not just looking for a job. Show that you're looking for a career. There is a good living and prospect for any craftsman to earn a very good living coming in to shop fitting and construction. They'll have pride in what they do. They'll have satisfaction in what they do. And it's a great career to be in. Everything's different again every day. Um, it's good money, good friends at work, and I just really enjoy the job, really. You've got to give it a try, haven't you, to find out if you like it. So, give it a go. Train, you won't know unless you do train. Besides, I didn't want to go to uni, get loads of debt, so I thought I'll go into an apprenticeship. Something that I enjoyed, um, doing stuff with my hands. I was good at it, so um, yeah, I went for that, and here I am, six years later, still doing it. <laughs>